Hello everyone, we will continue the interactive classical reports and we are covering the hide statement as of now and in the previous videos we understood what is hide statement, we have written the logic for the hide statement and after that we covered the important difference between psi l i n n o and psi l i l l i and we understood the working yes whenever you will double click on a line or whenever you will select a line and do f2 whenever you will select a line and do choose this system variable will determine the selected line and whatever the system variable will determine the selected line that line number will point to the hide area suppose the line number is 5 and in the hide area we are storing the line number so it will point to the line number 5 and yes whatever the contents are there for that particular line number we will get into the corresponding fields and in our scenario what are the corresponding fields order number order date payment mode and currency and out of these we anyways require order number only because to fetch data from order item table we require order number. Now what I will do? We will write the logic for the same. Previously, what you have done? You have written the select query based upon the system variable psi l i s c l which gives you the content of the selected row and we took the first 10 characters because order number length is 10. Now we cannot go for system variable L I S C L. We cannot go for this system variable. Now in parallel session, I will open in the debugging mode and we will simply write the query. Query is same to same. We just need to just change the where condition. So I will open a, another session in the debugging mode and we will write the logic. Suppose I will activate as of now. In another session, I will open in debugging mode. And then we will see what we need to write. I will just write, write one here so that I can put a breakpoint. Then I will remove. I will just put a breakpoint. I will go to execute. I am going for order number 1 to 5. I am clicking on to the third record number. Ideally, it is line number 5. Whenever I will double click, now the system variable psi l l i is 5. Now this 5 will point here, will point here. And on the fifth line number, what is the value? 328C and UST. This is what we want. This is 3 date C UST. Now we require what? We require order number 3. Now these values will go to the corresponding fields. And have you seen? We are able to see the values in the corresponding fields. If I will show you IWA data collectively itself. I am showing you the work area itself directly. If I will show you the work area. Have you seen we are able to get because the selected data move to the corresponding fields. Yes. What are the four corresponding fields? Order number, order date, payment mode and currency. Now, if I will go for another line, suppose 
I'm clicking here. Ideally, this is line number six. On the line number six, what is the order number four? Now, this system variable is six itself. It will go to the hide area. And what are the values? These are the values. Values will go to the corresponding fields. And have you seen in this work area? Now we are getting order number four itself. This is what we want. Now you can simply see what we require. Very, very easy. What is your where condition now? In which variable you have the order number? In which variable? Simply LW a data hyphen O and O. Previously, we used system variable psi L I S C L. Now we will use LWA data O and no. Just see in the debugging mode itself. In this work area, we are getting the contents of the selected record. Yes, because we stored into hide area and we are retrieving from the hide area. Very, very easy. Now I will simply uncomment because we want to display also. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Just we have achieved the requirement by different way. Now I will show you the output in the debugging mode so that you can 100% understand. I am putting a breakpoint. Suppose I am going for suppose different test case. Suppose I will put for go for order number one, two, three. Now, this is line number one, two, three, four, five. In the hide area, this is three, this is four, and this is five. And psi, L, I, N, N, O helped at that point of time. Suppose I'm clicking here. This is line number four. And have you seen? This system variable is four. This system variable is four. Now, four will point to the hide area. Yes. And we will be able to see the, we will be able to get the content and that will be moved to the corresponding fields of the work area. What is your work area? This is LWA data. And have you seen on the fourth record, what is the order number two? And yes, to fetch that data from order item table, what we require? Order number. This is order number two. Input is on the right hand side. O and O is equal to two. It will go to order item table. It will fetch that data of these three column and data will come into this internal table. If I will execute this query, you can see we have two records into this internal table for order number two. This loop will continue two times and we are writing. And have you seen on the secondary list, we are able to see the order number two. Previously, we used psi diesel. Now we are going for the concept of hide to achieve our requirement. Suppose if I'm clicking on to this, now the line number is five. In the hide area, it is five. Now the system variable return the absolute line number and just see. In this, we got the order number three itself. Yes, because whatever the content stored on the line number five, we simply pick from the hide area and contents moved to the corresponding fields. Now our order number is three. It will fetch data for order number three and we are displaying. Now we are able to see the order number three on the secondary list. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we have written the logic 
in at line selection event we saw in the debugging mode in this work area itself we are getting the values of the corresponding fields and we have passed in the where condition and we are displaying the data now in the next video we will go for most important point at the starting of the video i told this hide should be after the right statement why why and what is the reason for the same in the next video we will cover this particular part so that's it in this video thank you